home team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the Green and Gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the San Francisco 49ers. Here's the Australian-born punter Mitch Wisnowski to get things going. And off we go. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. On first down, it's Jones. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Trey Greenlaw in there on the tackle. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 39. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. First down, Rodgers. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10. Now Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Bulldozes past him, and he's brought down. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones, fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Packers have taken the early lead. Crosby connects on the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. 
Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready. And looking for Kitty, but it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And they're going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. Over the middle complete. That's Jones. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown? That's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense? On is the punter, Scott, here as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. Eight yards to go on second down. Garoppolo. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. No move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's got Rome. Touchdown, 49ers. I tell you, for a defender, that's got to be a scary sight, seeing a big man like this with a head of steam behind him as he makes that catch and then turns upfield. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to somewhere somewhere else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. 
On second and ten, Rodgers, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass that allowed them to disrupt the play. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. And defensively, they had an extra defensive back on the field, their nickel package, and it made a difference. All the receivers were blanketed, so he tried to run for it, but he came up just a bit short. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one goes for 24 yards. They'll run with Mostert. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets them back now for second down. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On second and goal, Garoppolo. Flush to his right. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Jimmy Garoppolo taking it in from seven yards away. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Ha, ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Seven yards, the pick up there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 45 on second down, Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Garoppolo to Ayuk. First down, 49ers. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. Another try after the first down sack. 
Garoppolo. This is caught. It's a new touchdown, 49ers. Mohamed Sanu as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers would extend their lead here just before halftime. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And with the clock at all zeros, they get the touchdown to make this just a one-score game into the lockers. And you know what else it does besides boost their confidence? It doesn't change your game plan any. See, if they're down bigger going into the half, you may have to revise what you plan to do in the second. But now in this spot, within one score and striking distance, uh, -uh you go ahead and keep playing and do what you've worked out all week long. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Once again, it's Mostert. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. 
The give is to Jones. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. Jones with a nice game there on first down as he takes his forward and call it a, a pickup of six. On play action, Rodgers caught on the right side by Jones. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 15-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. On play action, now Rodgers. Throw right side, this is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They'll run it with Jones. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. A solid pickup of five and a very solid four. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Extra point try now for Crosby. And an important one that is as we are tied now early in this fourth quarter. Couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Yeah. 
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. Second and six. Now a second down and six. There's Garoppolo to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Garoppolo now. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. They'll run on first down. Jones. A nice move he had, but can't break away. And he's brought down just inside the 30. Tackle that time by Jarquiski Tart. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their step. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Robert Tunyon, 29 yards. And the Packers on just two plays have taken the lead. Crosby with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. To throw on second and ten. Garoppolo. Incomplete. And now offensively it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. And the leading so far in the second half. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Taking a shot for Samuel. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Oh, a great grab by Kittle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 
call that a very strong gain of 24. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Garoppolo finding his tight end, Kittle. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Back to throw, Garoppolo. And incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Garoppolo to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing line? Yes. This is about what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. Look at the big man rumble. The 20, 10. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. This was almost what I've heard referred to as a pick 12. Pick 12, explain. Well, you're talking about the six that they were trying no, to get. because they were so close right? to the end zone. And now the six going the other direction. So when you take a look at it, teams on the march, they're in the red zone. Then after the interception, and it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep them from going all the way. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. They'll try again with Jones. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. set to get this drive underway. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. He's going to let it fly. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to the final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get complete. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Kevin King with a pick. And they will finally get to him.